Hey guys and welcome back to the channel and today I'll be reviewing Doctor Who Series 1 Episode 2 The End of the World. So let's just get right into it. So we open with the Doctor taking Rose 5 billion years into her future and they land on Platform 1 which is a space, space station in orbit around Earth. They have arrived in time for a party celebrating the final destruction of the abandoned Earth which is destroyed by the expansion of the sun. The doctor, uses, the doctor uses his psychic paper to pass as an invitation to the party, and the party is full of aliens, which include Lady Cassandra, who is billed as the last human, and the face of Poe, who becomes a bit of a recurring character. Now, all the characters in this look, well, all the guests, I should say, look amazing in this, and if you've seen the Doctor Who Confidentiality, Doctor Who Confidential from this, like on the DVD which I have, then you'll see just how hard it was to create these and how much time it took. Each guest brings gifts and one turns out to be multiple robotic spiders that come out of something, I can't remember what, but it immediately works at disabling the functions on Platform 1. And the main steward, steward, which is the blue, uh, some blue guy, of the platform recognizes something. Something is wrong, but is killed when the spiders lower the solar flare, and expo expose solar flare, solar filter, I should say, and exposes him to the sun. After Rose insults Cassandra, and the adher adherents, or whatever they're called, they're basically her minions. I'm just gonna call her her minions. Knock Rose unconscious, and when Rose comes around, she's in an observation room where the solar filter drops. And just before she gets caught, the doctor gets the filter up and gets her out. The doctor determines that the minions are behind the sabotage. However, they are Cassandra's robots, as I just said. But I think they find them out here. Yeah, and Cassandra admit Cassandra admits to it and intends to make a profit from the guest's deaths because they're all really rich people and famous. Cassandra teleports off and as the shields begin to lower on the station, the Doctor and Jade, a tree sort of woman, go to restore the automatic shields, but one of them have to go through several spinning fans and Jade sacrifices herself to slow down the fan blades. This allows the Doctor to reactivate the system just before the sun hits the station and destroys the earth. Um, well, this is like the proper first heartfelt emotional death in the series. I mean, there was some with the Autons, uh, Clive, but that wasn't really emotional. I feel like this was more emotional because the Doctor felt more attached to her, I guess. The Doctor reverses Cassandra's teleport, and with rising temperature and without her moisturiser men, Cassandra rips apart and it just explodes all over the room. Rose looks down at the destroyed Earth and is effectively, effectively the last human. The do back on Earth in 2005, the Doctor explains that he is the last of the Time Lords and his planet was destroyed in a war. And then they go off and get some chips. And that's the end of that episode. So was it good? I think this episode was good at some points, but I lost interest in a little bit. I remember as a kid, like just having no interest in watching it. But rewatching it is quite good in some bits. Cassandra is a good villain who, again, is good back into series two. But I feel they could have had some more moments with the guests, like maybe the Doctor and Face the Bow interaction, because of obviously what leads into series three. But then we'll get into that when the time comes. But the Doctor and Rose are great again, so yeah. So I give The End of the World a 6 out of 10. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I should have more coming soon. And until next time, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you later.